Yes. And uh, it's good to do, I think, because it's a special thing that, you know, needs to be celebrated. Amen. The Bible begins with Adam and Eve, and sure enough, in no time, Eve's going to have a baby. It's there in the beginning of the Bible, and it's in the middle of the Bible, because Isaiah said that a virgin shall conceive and bring forth a son. Yes. Speaking about Jesus. Amen. So he came right on schedule. Amen. So we have a lot to be thankful for, and that's the central theme. And yet, what an embarrassment it had to be to bear that cross of that testimony. Yes. Because mm -hmm. everybody would be talking, you know, like the thing began with everybody talking about what? <laughs> How could God be in such a thing? Yeah. Right. 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 But He sure was, wasn't He? Amen. Man, uh, that's a part of the Lord. See, He demands a sacrifice. And uh, it's only right that uh, we have no reputation in this world. That's right. Even as Jesus was a man of sorrows and acquainted with, with grief. Right. Right. We had no reputation. And of course, the uh, Jews and the Romans made sure <laughs> He died as a common criminal. That's right. And so with that in mind, I think of the last book in the Bible. Mm -hmm. What's the Bible end with? Chapter 12. Amen. Mm -hmm. So we read Revelation chapter 12. Amen. Amen. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven. A woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. She being with child cried travailing in birth and pain to be delivered and there appeared another wonder in heaven and behold a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his heads and his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth and the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born. And she brought forth a man-child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And, his, and her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. And the woman fled into the wilderness where she hath a place prepared of God that they should feed her there a thousand two hundred three score days and there was war in heaven Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and the dragon fought in his angels and prevailed not neither was their place found any more in heaven the great dragon was cast out that old serpent called the devil and Satan which deceiveth the whole world he was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they love not their lives unto the death. Mm -hmm. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And when the dragon saw that he was cast unto the earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man-child. And to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness, into her place where she is nourished for a time and times and a half a time from the face of the serpent. And the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. And the earth helped the woman. And the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out of his mouth. 
and the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Brother Keith, won't you pray for us? We will be dismissed today. Father, we thank you again for your provision, uh, Lord, for your protection, Lord, that we were able to raise this morning in our right mind. Father, we thank you for the ability to come to church. Lord, the Bible tells us that, and he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things, he might have the preeminence. And so, Father, we thank you today that we might be able to present his musical about the Lord Jesus Christ and his birth, that he might have the preeminence in all things. Father, we thank you for being reminded uh, through this song of the strong doctrines of the Bible, Heavenly Father, that keep us straight and on the narrow path from the Word of God. Lord, we don't go by our feelings or uh, seeking the presence of God, but what the Holy Bible has to say yeah. about these great events and these great truths. Lord, we thank you uh, once again that as they sung that song, what do you think, Lord? Uh, who could believe such a thing? But yet, uh, Lord, we believe it. And it has changed our lives. And we definitely look forward to the time when you shall reign forever. Yes. In Jesus' name, amen.